That little cat gremlin is my baby. My actual literal baby. Ugh. Okay. Uh, no, don't start with this music. No. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not. No. Damn it. Sure, we'll go with that one. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Something showed up for a moment. Good job, transitions. So, I... <laughs> I feel like Central is more of a fringe time zone. It's not fringe, but... I, uh, why not? Uh, I, uh... I always feel like more people do EDT instead of PDT and stuff. CT isn't real. So I, I listed the Eastern time, but I'm in Central time. <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, not going to do like super tease or whatever, things like that, but I am going to start with showing stuff. Uh. Uh, I guess go over the design changes from the last design and feet. <laughs> the design changes and the boots got even simpler. There's not MST, only PST and ESD. But the boots got even simpler. They don't make logical sense anymore, but but I like them. And then we got skirts and stuff. And the skirt does have like more advanced physics, I promise you, but I just currently don't have an animation uh, for that would show off the skirt more. It's in the, the teaser uh, trailer. When you got to design and model things, they get a little simpler. Yeah, they do. They do get a little simpler. I could have, because in the original design, I have like a skirt under the skirt, but I thought little shorts are good. And then let me see if I click the right button. There we go. I got, I got pants, shorts. The hands are stuck because there is hand tracking. Uh, so it's, it's a give and take. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, somehow these are the, this is the most textured part of, of the model or like the most detailed texture of the model. Besides, like, the eyes. <laughs> Everything else is usually stuck to one color or something. And then got the normal jam. Let's put this back on. Got the jacket. I'm trying to, like, go further because of my latest bar. Hold on. Uh, I got a button for that. No, not on this view. I don't have a button for that on this view. What's the bracelet? Um, it doesn't logically make sense. It's just a... Squares I put together. Hi, V. Hello, everyone, by the way. Hi. Hello. How are we all doing today? <laughs> oh, thank you, Talos. I am doing... I... <laughs> I uh, thank you. I made, I made a mistake. <laughs> I made a mistake. Uh, yeah. I got jacket. Jacket has very, very slight physics just because I can and I was able to. Yeah. Applause. Thank you. For, I guess the applause, I did the model and it worked a lot. There goes my hands. So we were a little late. Just a little late. <laughs> Whoops. And then you can't see it over the latest. So I guess we'll just go all the way up. Hi. I got ponytail. I have a hair gem too. Gem hand, does that make you a Gemini? <laughs> Gemini, hello, wavy. Hello, everybody. All right, how am I centered? There we go. Thank you. And yep, why are all the songs bad? Sure, we'll go with that one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, face. The most complicated part of this model is probably the mouth. Because, oh my god. 
there's so much you have to do. At least for iPhone tracking. iPhone tracking is... There's so much you have to do. Thank you. I'm glad, I'm glad that it looks good because it's... It's okay. Tongues aren't real. D you... Nobody knows about the tongue. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it right now. That's okay. PS1 polygon body. Yep. It's kind of like that. Um, I forgot to explain that it's a mixture of like actual textures and then just flat colors. Like the hair is textured and the face has some texture, but like parts of like this eyelash are just straight flat color. The mouth is a straight color. And it's a combination between a uh, uh, low poly vertex colors, vertex painting or whatever, and then some textures. Came out really cool though. All the pain you went through <laughs> that I saw. Yes, I did share this with some people and there was a lot of pain. <laughs> a lot of pain involved. <laughs> um, technically, this is not the public unveiling because... I've been posting on TikTok. <laughs> it's sort of a, like a, a test because I don't think anybody who follows me here would follow me on TikTok. 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 Stardew Valley. Hmm. I don't know about that. <laughs> but I, I, I started posting on TikTok just to kind of mess with um, short form content and using my model and Surprisingly, there's a lot of interesting stuff on there. You'll have to pay me to get... See, I, I was like a pendant or some sort of advanced piercing. It's embedded gemstone. Uh, hi, I'm an alchemist. Uh, <laughs> I'm an alchemist. The, the hand and the chest are gemstones embedded. Uh, hair is not. It's just an accessory. <laughs> and I was like that, that I was like, TikTok, this sucks. This is awful. Like, why would I ever get that? And then I... I, I listened to Di about, like, um, actually, whatchamacallit, brain, curating my content. Would I die if you remove your gems? No. My soul is not contained in the gems. <laughs> Imagine having a TikTok. It's actually been fun with a tiny, tiny bit of Russian roulette. Uh... <laughs> Hi, an alchemist. I'm Shadux. Oh, hi, I'm Nina. That's my name. My name is not Miss Nina, it's Nina. <laughs> Nina's not a lich. <laughs> I'm not a Steven Universe character either. I'm not a fusion. I just, you know, just, you gotta store power and you might as well keep it on your body instead of trying to put it, put it in your pack. And, uh, so the specifics is that, you know, I have iPhone tracking, so I do have, like, you can't really see it, like, chest puff. And more specific, weird, name, weird thing. Am I made of metal? No. I am a human. Freeze of inventory slots. Exactly. Uh, but the more specifics is that uh, I'm using iPhone, but then there's an app called Web Motion Capture that can capture the head a lot more and... Hand tracking with webcam. It's pretty scuff. But it, it, there is hand tracking with webcam without having to use a leap motion. So I have hands. I forgot to, 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 to demonstrate that. I, I have hands. They're, they're a, little, a little scuff. It works better if you have like a completely black shirt on or something. And sometimes it, it does it has issues. Like I can put this over me. We got hands. I can put this over me and um uh it'll work better. It's just that it's really hot. <laughs> it's fine go. Yeah, that looks better. This won't make sense to the VOD because the music is being recorded separately and it won't show up on the VOD. Yeah, music, music. I can, I can mess with the music, and then it can track my head really good. Applause. I was, I did a little conductor dance. So when I talk, I seem to like. Le <laughs> Thank you for hydrating because I'm. 
babbling. <laughs> Seems a re erectionless different color in your hand. It's so I was trying to decide if like I should have it. I will stretch. I was just trying to decide if I should have um all one color, but then at first I had it the skin color, but if I put it over my face because of the way it's shaded, it just blends into the face. So I made it a different color. But then I wanted the palms of the hand to actually kind of look like a palm, but it didn't end up exactly how I wanted. The hands are, they're going to be the first thing I ever redo because the hands are complicated. Like I said, the, the most detailed texture is like the pants besides the eyes. The most complicated feature or topology, I said the mouth is the hands. <laughs> the mouth and the hands are complicated. But they're the things that are the most complex movements, so it makes sense. It does make sense. Hands are rough. They are. I can't draw hands. You expect me to model them? Really? You expect me to do that? <laughs> And I don't have all 52 of the um, blend shapes because the, the iPhone is like 52 IR kit, whatever. Hands aren't real. They can't hurt you. I can't. I can't reach you. I can't. It also doesn't register depth, so I, it doesn't see me like pushing forward and backwards, which is fine. They they function. Uh, sometimes you can you can get them like my hands are bendable enough that every once in a while I can phase into my palm <laughs> uh, and the thumbs I don't know if I like I think I rigged the thumbs wrong they're a little weird oh right um ignore that my model jumps I have a potion and here's the thing is if I try to hold it with oh god I'm going all over the place if I try to hold it like this I'm at an angle. Hold on. Uh, it looks kind of weird. But if I turn off my, um, the hand, I have a little animation of just, like, holding a potion. Well, I'm an alchemist, so I made a potion. I'm just, I'm giving it to you. Here. Please register my hand. I'm trying to do something. Oh, wait, I can just hold it like this. Okay. It's a potion. I gave, I'm giving it to you. Oh, actually, I'm selling it to you. Please buy it. It costs, how much does this stuff cost? $4.99 or just $5? I don't know. <laughs> That's actually an idea to actually make potions. But, uh, my model does a little weird jump when I do that. But we can go back to tracking the fingers. Wah! Uh, <laughs> just the the blank i want to know what it does before drinking the mix uh it's pink it's a somewhat health potion probably a bigger potion or something uh something like that but you can now you can see me stare into space trying to think and my brain processing in real time or more specifics instead of just being like, oh, that's just a face looking forward on Live 2D. It's like, no, there's a mouth agape staring. Fool me seven times. Shame on me. Somewhat. What did I say? Somewhat. What it? I don't, I don't know. I don't remember what I said. <laughs> uh. I'm much more smiley than I was because this morning, because I was really tired, but I was testing it out. I would just had resting bitch face all the time. But hey, thanks, mystery bot. Um, mystery potion, sorry. Uh, I was just extremely pouty and I, I couldn't help it. Somewhat, oh, somewhat a healing potion. How many gold pieces for the potion? Uh, 500 gold. Uh, somewhat a healing potion. It it means it can help in other areas too. It's pink after all. Also, I I have a mess of hair. It's really it's a mess. 
and it's made so if I look for it, no, no, I didn't turn my mail off. Shut up. Stop it. Close. Uh. It's made that if I look forward, uh, you can still see it. So it's like, it's still there. It's not snake oil. It does stuff. Turn your channel points into gold and we can use it to buy potions. Well, I guess my channel points are straight up potions, aren't they? I don't remember. <laughs> what are my channel points? They're a little potion icon. Vials of mystery. I'm a little behind. Uh, I, I think I'm behind for everyone. Uh, I'm not having CPU problems, though, no drop frames, so I don't know if running, uh, yeah, Thoughts for Prime, low poly debut, hello. Thoughts from, from Prime, and that's my alarm telling me to get up to stream. <laughs> Thank you! Cut coins, gold coins! 499 gold pieces! Hello, Thim Demo! Give potion. Here, I'll give you the potion. There you go. Uh, here is the potion, just for you. Oh, and there's, there's the, uh, tits plugin. Here's the potion. And I gave it to you. There you go. My internet's been so bad that it's on my end. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I, I missed a hydrate. Okay. Ah! I hit, I hit something. Pleasure doing business with you. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I don't remember what the bits icon- The bits icons, I think, are potions. But, like, yeah, the donation is- Is... Coins. And also, I got to test the donation on my- My latest donation up there. Because I've never had it go off, and I don't- I never knew if it worked or not. But now I know it works! Look at that icon! Look at that, that profile picture icon! I made it, and I really like it. I really like that one. It's, it's just a hard hat, but I, it looks really satisfying to me. I really liked making that. <laughs> uh, brain. Wait, am I not getting... I don't have the... I don't have, like, actual Twitch up to look at what's happening. Followed. Okay, thank you for the follow. I just, I was so distracted by the, the icon. Uh. Did I miss Emma T. Tiger following? Am I? Yes, I did. I'm sorry. I, I, uh, works so hard on her stuff and code. Yes, I did code all of my, um, Mix it up alerts myself. I think I should redo them, but it's not a priority. They work. They they work well enough. Um, I should probably switch over to stream elements just because there's a little bit more specifics I can do. And uh, but I can still code in stream elements. I can custom code it. Like this chat box is stream elements, but it's custom coded from like the ground up. Here at Shadok Snake Shop, we we only offer. Offer of the finest, finest crushed snake oil. Got several fractured bones? Drink some snake oil. Listen, we are backed by Bethesda, so trust me when I say it just works. <laughs> my, my phone died. No, I don't want to update my carrier settings, you bitch. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Not thank you. What? Cool, Emma, you're here. That's awesome. Uh, it's really... I'm glad you're here. Yeah, my to megalovania. <laughs> I don't notice the music when it's in the background that I'm playing. I'm like, wow, this is really intense. <laughs> Even the iPhones are like, hey, do this thing. Who cares if you're streaming? Yeah, because my iPhone is now like my old iPhone for the, the face tracking. Um, it gets yelled at me. It's like, you don't have internet. You don't have like a paid for internet plan or not your data. You don't have a data plan. So like, would you like to update it to the new data plan? I'm like, no, no, it's not going to be connected to data anymore. Stop asking me. <laughs> this is, this is extreme. It's just louder than everything else. The fuck is a phantom. <laughs> 
Phantom. Every, there's a lot of people with red names. And I think some of it is just like they have uncolored names and it shows up, but a lot of people with red names. At least on my end. The kind of bug I have with the chat is that if you have like an un an unassigned color, it's it looks kind of weird. But it, I dealt with it better than uh normal. <laughs> just looking at myself going uh also a fun i got red red 100 percent fave color there we go there's all the red people red is popular it's true no one really has my color i in fact am am phantom uh, a fun fact is that looking over here is fine looking over here is fine if I stare directly into it, my eyes, like the camera, it doesn't like it. <laughs> it has problems. It's barely present in my personal home, personal color scheme. Yeah, there are pinks. There's a lot of reds and pinks. And I think that's probably followed up by blues. And then the rest of them are give or take but a lot of people don't pick the yellow because it's like not gold but not yellow it's kind of a mid color but i don't have twitch prime or turbo or whatever it's called now and i'm not gonna pick a specific color <laughs> what are you my assistants are you reselling my potions my you're diluting my potions and reselling them 988. Aha, uh -huh, the price went up. I see. Didn't we just skip this song earlier? No, Tem Shop versus Temmie Village. You know, I did put other songs in here that are not Undertale or Deltarune, but they're not showing up. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, for tracking, I am using iFacial mocap on my iPhone in conjunction with web motion capture um the total price for half the quality uh web, it's web motion capture it is it's not free but it's like two dollars a month which is not awful um but it tracks pretty much the best head movement i've ever seen uh of anything and uh hands hands with webcam not not a Leap motion. They're a little they're glitchy at sometimes. It really is glitchy. But hands. I keep forgetting that I can sit here with my hands up and I look more engaging. But when I don't I like I just have this when I put my hands down, they have this like limp wrist thing, but that's kind of like I don't know, I need like my hands to go like slightly further down and not all the way up, but I have to get used to it and see what I do. Because if I'm playing a game, you're never going to see my hand, so it doesn't matter. But I still have the web motion capture up because I like the amount of head movement and the good tracking. Because if you use VC faces, like, or at least when I used it a long time ago, VC faces, like, built-in webcam tracking, if you move your head like this, it cannot keep up. It gets really, really upset with you. Also, my hair is actually in a ponytail and it's whipping me. So, I'm immersed. <laughs> I'm definitely immersed. I have a floofy ponytail right now. Oh yeah, that's a design difference, is the ponytail instead of the hair down and curly, because it works better in 3D, and also I thought it was cute. And this is my attempt at curly hair wall 3D. It's, it's definitely not normal, but it, it gets the point across. I think it gets the point across. I'm going to look, see how long I've been live. It's going to be like 10 minutes. 30 minutes. Okay, that's... That's... That's acceptable. Because I usually go through these things really, 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 really fast. And it's just like, ah, oh, 30 minutes talking for it. Uh, what did you do for rigging? Uh, I, I, I made the rigging... Um, uh, my brains... I, I, I rigged it. I rigged it in Blender. And I started, I didn't use a pre-made armature because my proportions were different. So I had to 
make them anyways, and I wanted to know how to make it uh, as well. So, uh, yeah, I just, I rigged the bones in Blender and then uh, went through the process of a VRM, so it's rigged in Unity, but it automatically detects the bones, usually. And, um, hello, Navi! Uh, it automatically detects the bone and bones and, uh, well, it keeps thinking the bones for my hair is, um, brain. Uh, the bones for my hair is my jaw, so I have to turn it off every time I re-import. <laughs> uh, what game is this? Have you started getting that on TikTok yet? If, you, if you're talking about, like, a meme format, no, I, I, I haven't got that. <laughs> I do I have not actually got that. Um Yeah, go to Unity. And this is technically not a VRM, it's a VC face specific avatar because I use Magicka cloth for physics because this hair is actually cloth physics. There is bone physics better for hair. It's just um I couldn't get it to do what I want. I think I had to put different bones in different places, but I wasn't quite sure sure how uh how it it would work but basically bones in rigging it's just anything that moves you say this part of the model moves when this little pointer changes so they're called bones because usually it's human bones but anything that moves because like uh, a lot of the tutorials have jiggle physics for like boobs and butts and you have like a bone there connected to another one and you make the bone kind of spin around or move a little bit like there's jiggle there's actually a built-in vrm and magic of cloth oh is it magical i think a vrm like for breasts to specifically jiggle <laughs> oh yeah it's, it's, it's in magical cloth uh the the spring bone no it's is it spring bone whatever there's a specific one that's the preset is called breast so I'm just like, cool. That's great. Bones and boobs. I, technically, yes. If you don't want to call them bones, call them controllers. That's what they do. They they control movement. They're controllers. There be a Discord. Yes, there be a Discord. Um, it is. Do I have a command? It's a good question. Uh, Discord. I do. Uh, okay. Uh, very impressive. I'm from the low poly server. Yeah, I see. I see you. Uh, yeah, because I showed processes on the low, um, low polis and I had a time. It was a, it didn't take like a technical long, long, long time because it was maybe like a week and a half of solid working. But like there was a day I worked 12 hours straight <laughs> because I don't have a job. <laughs> uh, a lot of intense focus went into this. So if, if you had like a normal job and spaced it out properly, I would say it would take like a month or two to actually make something like this. And this also took a long time because I had to learn things. Like I knew the basics of rigging, but I never got to work. So I had to get it to work. And then I dealt with the monster that is called weight painting to say how much does this, what you've modeled called the mesh, move with the bone. And it's, but it's based on like, the vertices and stuff. Um, uh, and then after that, you've got to import that. And after that, you've got to deal with shaders and textures. And then after that, you've got to deal with a little bit of mouth movement. And after that, you've got to make some changes. And then you've got to do physics. And then if you re-import it, you re have, to have to redo the blend shapes and the physics. <laughs> yeah, waypoint for Blender is, oh my god. Uh, almost all the things that change the model are out of stock. Uh, are they showing up on the manage reward quest? Or do you mean like the, the channel points? Or did I figure it out or mess it? Um, there's stuff that I have. All 2D models, but do I still, are those actual redeems? I have them paused. Oh, do they show up when I pause them? It just says they're out of stock. Oh, I would have meant for them to just not show up. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Um, the casual on off technically work or technically is the same function, but uh, VC face doesn't want to recognize that keybind when I'm not in it. Pause keeps them. Sh uh, uh. Whoops. 
Maybe that's why people get confused about all my channel points. Um, because I thought pausing them did the same thing as turning them off in the thing. Well, we've learned something new today. I'm just going to quickly uh, uh turn those off. At least the ones I think that I don't have on. Uh, that one's fine. That one's fine. That's off, off. That can be off. Those are the best ones. That can be off. Turn that off for now. That one's still there. No, 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 no. Okay. Yes. Painfully yes and yes. Okay. There we go. I've updated it so there's less crap. So nothing can be thrown. Uh, the attack can explode. Should wait? Did I? Oh, that's probably pot. It's on but paused. Where is the attack and explode? That no attack and explode is. No thing can be thrown. Attack and explode is um the thrown uh items. Everything else I I don't uh, I don't know. How Twitch? How do I have negative one applause requests? <laughs> applause negative one requests. Really? Twitch? Yeah, all requests negative one. <laughs> I can't really applause. Let's give to negative two. I can't. It doesn't make the hands go together, so I can't clap my own hands. And it starts to, like, not detect them. <laughs> so it's really awkward to try and clap your hands. <laughs> I didn't mark it as complete. Oh, me, yeah, the complete at the same time I opened it, probably. That's probably actually what happened. And then the shawl is over me, so better hand tracking, and it's hot. It's really hot. Ugh. Ugh. It is unfortunately very hot here. So when my air conditioning comes on, which has probably been on before, um, it's going to make a little bit of background noise, but it's hot. <laughs> I can't not turn the air on. I'm not, I'm not that much... That dedicated of a streamer to turn everything off. I can probably turn my air purifier off. That that can go off. Um, but I'm not that much of a dedicated streamer that I'm like, I gotta turn the air off because it'll make too much noise. No. No, you're just gonna deal with it. <laughs> it's almost 80 degrees. Yeah, it's 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 cool enough in this house. This house, like, definitely keeps air in pretty well, even though my room is a little bit harder, too. It gets hotter than everything else. But it has to be going quite often to combat how ridiculously hot it is. That's the favorite topic, is weather. Talk about weather. Re weather is relatable to all people. Mostly people not liking the weather. Except, like, fall. People like fall weather. And spring, but yeah. Worst kind of potion I've made. Um, so I did actually physically try and make like potions aesthetically. And I mixed, I want, I use like grenadine. That's usually like an alcoholic drink, but it's not alcoholic. It's just like a cherryish flavoring, but not really. And then it didn't look the right consistency, so I added milk. I don't think I tasted it, but it didn't look right. It didn't. It didn't look very good. <laughs> that was a long time ago. And then I I closed the stopper, and I was like, I'm just gonna seal that in, and it's gonna stay there. And then. It looked weird after a week, so I just threw the whole bottle away. <laughs> uh, winter weather. Winter weather. I like it to a degree. It's, like, interesting. Fuck! <laughs> I didn't turn off that timer! Whoops. Just turn that off. We can turn that on. And that on. Oh, that's why. It doesn't have the Discord one. Oh, I don't need both of them. We'll put that one on. So I already got a commission request, so I don't need to advertise that anymore or for now 
Yeah, Nina's having 3D model debut. Now! Right now! A little later than it was supposed to. Because... <laughs> and it wasn't like a slip-up in the end or anything like that. It was from the get-go. I was like, 3 p.m. EDT. And she's like... I... I live in Central. And... I think I, I, I told Storm that, I, that I'm, like, I'm an EDT. And they're like, oh yeah, the same. And I'm just like... I just literally lied to people. <laughs> and 3 a.m. Yes, uh, uh, 3 period. Just 3. And it's like, oh, I guess maybe 3 a.m., maybe 3 p.m., who knows? Of course, obviously, you probably wouldn't list the time zone that would have it at 3 a.m., but you never know. CG isn't real, it's okay. It's real when I watch people from Austin. I thought it was, <laughs> oh, 300. <laughs> Whatever time it is, New York is my time. I mean, whatever time it is, Chicago is my time. I mean, I use 24 hours. So 300 makes sense to me. That's when I go to sleep. No, that was a mistake. There are, there's lots of different mistakes. Oh, fun fact that you guys, if you look at it, it probably will um, say you can still do it, but I am cutting it off. No one scanned the QR code. Absolutely no one scanned the QR code from the first promo. Do you know what the QR code was? Anyone take a guess? First three people would have got free emotes. <laughs> but nobody scanned it. <laughs> no one was curious enough. And also there's a Kofi uh, discount code. Uh, in the videos as well. Yeah, I know, because I showed it to you, specifically. And you asked me what was it, I said, why don't you scan it? But I... I'm gonna give you and I free emotes, uh, because... I said you're disqualified. <laughs> because I showed you specifically about it, but at the same time, no one else, uh, wanted it, and I was planning to do them anyway, so, you know. Um... Yeah, you and I can have um, a free emote. <laughs> but I'm I'm not like upset. I'm just like no one was curious enough. Not even not even just a little bit curious. Yeah, I, I in the Star Trek uh stream, I was like, oh yeah, when are you gonna commission me for the hair? Because I didn't have any commissions for a while. And I'm like, I remember today. I was like, right. I I said if no one scanned it by Thursday, I'd give you a free one. So. Free hair. Um, but I did get a, uh, or at least talking about a more lengthy commission. So that's, that's good. I've got a little bit. And they're not, it's nothing too detailed. It's, it's just Twitch emotes and sub badges. Um, yeah. So things are doing well besides the fact that I couldn't sleep and then I felt sick and then I, had the wrong time. <laughs> I just came yes came back yesterday, cut some slack. I need it for a, a slack sub. Come I mean it says by the ninth. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know, I said that and then I'm like, I don't I mean I wanna tell them what it was. Um if you want you can still use the Kofi discount code. Cause that's not set to expire and eh, it's fine. Um those have limited slots anyways. Uh, I made the rules. I can change them. I, I, I was going to turn it off before the stream, but I, I thought the stream was later. I, th I thought it was an hour, hour uh, later. I thought the stream would have been preparing now. Whoops. Kimish coffee? Stream was... No, it was not supposed to be 12 hours ago. That was not the, the mistake. The mistake was not the 12 hours ago. That was ambiguous. That was not a mistake. It, or it is a mistake that I didn't put it on there, but that was just ambiguous. The 3 p.m. EDT was me specifically telling you the wrong time, which became the right time because I'm like, everyone, there's someone, there's people actually waiting for me. So yeah, dude, stream now. What? What? Misleading. <laughs> it's 
surprised you can track the hands when you drink something. How do you feel about the story of a man named Stanley? Stanley Parable? Stuff like that? Dude, weren't you saying someone was talking about the Stanley Parable in someone's chat? I wasn't paying attention. I think I was working on the model, like trying to export stuff, because it was like Mystic Skyward Source. Sky sk <laughs> Skyward Sword stream. That, uh. I was like adding blend shapes for the model or something. I wasn't like doing extreme stuff, but kind of tedious stuff of inputting data. Invisible cup. Yeah, invisible. Well, I mean, they're. I guess it is a water cup, water bottle. Stuff like that, but I had a, a little test of where it kind of tracked me petting my cat. Just like, invisible cat, yeah! I'm going to move the OBS window where Chad is over here just for uh, my neck to uh, look somewhere else. Yo, love from the cane. <laughs> Why would a sword in the sky? That makes no sense. Love from the cane. What's love from the cane? Cane's not here. Currently, or he's not saying anything. Um, he did. He did. Uh, oh, he added everybody. Yes. Okay, that's good. I have. I mean, I have Discord. Uh, in streamer mode, and OBS was over it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, thank you. Who added me in this server? Did I do something wrong? No. Okay, it's just uh, someone else was going live. Uh, I did not do anything wrong in the new server I joined, which is not a VTuber server. It's for Rainer Race Junior. <laughs> <laughs> where you can say you're live. I'm just like, did I do something wrong? Did I? Uh, uh, Shall you on Discord? Yeah. But hello, Rune. And uh, yeah, it's okay. My grammar is bad too. I miss a lot of words. I definitely miss a lot of uh, words. Shout out. What? My brain goes. <laughs> What shout out? Oh, Kane? I don't know. I don't know. Um, for you, shout out for you. Yes. I, uh, if you can't tell, the brain cells are struggling. <laughs> they're they're having a little bit of an issue, <laughs> just a little bit of an issue. Uh, currently, there I. That's what happens when you don't sleep. You you do not have full control of your brain cells. They're still functioning, just not at capacity. It's also like the last few days I've been like extremely um not scatterbrained, like I'm focusing on something too much that I'm just like thinking about it too much. There's too many thoughts going in my head. I'm supposed to write write for forgot to finish a chapter. Writing! the right side the brain cells aren't getting eaten by amoebas yeah they're not getting eaten they're just dormant at the moment they need they need sleep to energize themselves um and i ate food a while ago and it made me feel kind of sick but i think that was just nervousness because right now i don't feel as sick anymore and i feel more alert and awake even though it's, it's not a, a lot of it uh but it's more than it was because i was laying in bed just like oh, just get up and 30 minutes, and maybe I won't feel awful. And then I was like, do it now. I'm like, this is actually kind of the best thing that could happen, is that you could, ju you could just make it, um, make it happen to me. Like, no time to stress, just do it. And it's like, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I got a little bit of sleep. From, like, 8 to 10 or 11, I had, like, a small drifting off. So that was enough to sustain me, and I rested more, so... Nervousness before the thing is sometimes worse than the actual. Oh yeah, all the time. I get nervous um, to to start something or anything, almost anything. I get nervous before, but if I actually do it, it's not that bad. Besides the fact that I had a bunch of stuff not work. Um, that's a bad face. That's me rolling my lips. <laughs> Because normally I can't frown, like, my natural face can go neutral, but this is me trying to frown. But if I do that, it's a dumb face. 
there's lots of dumb faces that uh you can do with the iPhone. So uh, also a feature of this model is that um the base model, like the neutral model, eyes, like the the distance between the eye whites and the eyes are like that. That's the default expression. And I purposely made them overextended. Um Model to frown, model not model to frown. It it can frown. I have the frown set. I just can't activate it. Um, the feature is that it's cute as fuck. <laughs> Hi, Kane. Um, but yeah, the default eyes, uh, are ex ah! <laughs> Hey, you got me back for me not following you. So the potions on theirs don't have the right shaders, but that's because tits just doesn't have the right shaders. Uh, yeah. Uh, was your work okay? VTuber sneezes. Did I? I didn't sneeze. Trust me, you'll know when I sneeze. It's very loud. <laughs> Rip tits. Yeah, tits. Uh, it just won't let me do an unlit shader. It's in Unity. It has the capabilities for that. Sounded like a sneeze. Oh, <laughs> the sing sound effect. Oh, the sing sound effect from Pokemon. Yeah, that would make sense. And also. Welcome, another person with a red name. What are we up to? Four or five people with red names right now? Pet Dan. I also nerfed my boobs, design-wise. Um, compared to my older design. Which one? That one? I, uh, press the button! Nerfed. I just, I got in the way. How dare you nerf the boob? At least four red names, yes. Uh, they, they just got in the way all the time. I like how the chat noises just randomly go off and they're not even related to who's talking. Uh, I should fix that, because I, I know part of it is, like, um, mix it up having to process the way the chat noises work, because you can't just... I don't have the chat noises. Oh, I know, because I added different noises for VIP and moderators. And then it goes through a cycle of having a different kind of noise for 123 that that's a uh, cycle through, but apparently I've just added too much processing power. It mix it up can't um like understand that much. Um Hold on. Can I not do this from... Uh, it just, it can't... So if you right-click on stream elements, it wants you to, to be banned. <laughs> That's what its natural tendency, it wants you to be banned. It just asks, like, how long do you want to ban them? I'm like, no, 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 please. That's not what I want. And I'm like... No, shut up. Don't play the stream. Actually, I forgot. This isn't Discord. Does this work? Uh. There we go. I forgot. I have to use the commands. I don't know. I was thinking of, like, Discord. In Discord, you right-click and add a role. And it's just like, yeah, Discord. And it's like, no, that's this... This is Twitch chat. <laughs> That's not how that works. I had to manually raid Sufi the other day because Twitch would just not register that they were online in my thing, even though I got the alert. So it officially processed and stuff. Um, but it just, it wouldn't do it. <laughs> it just would not do it. So I just, I was like, okay, I, the, the slash raid a command? It is, it is indeed a, a command. <laughs> Just slash right. That makes more sense. And also, if you guys notice, the VIP has a special icon in my specially coded chat. It's a little pixel art gem. It looks nice. The button sucks. It does suck. And then it shows you their stream, but you can't open up a new window because if you do that and press raid, it won't actually like take you to the raid sometimes. So it's different. And also, my emotes are bigger. I guess. I mean, I guess I've used. I've streamed somewhat since I changed to stream elements. Uh, chat. I don't think I have a lot. Um, but if you use, like, one single emote, or mostly other emotes, it'll get bigger. 
can already unraid in case it breaks. Unraid that. Uh, unraid that. I mean that makes sense. Uh, the gem next to the username in the actual um stream. Um, for VIPs. On the little icons, I have some sub badges, and the moderators have a a more specific um thing. Because I wish you could change the moderators and VIP icons, like you can change the sub icons and bit badges. Because I would like everything to be unified. But I understand um from an accessibility standpoint of knowing who the moderators are in the chat, though VIPs probably doesn't matter. Um, but knowing who the, who the moderators are is probably more important than having custom stuff. But VIPs, you should be able to change the icon. There's no reason you shouldn't be able to change the VIP icon. I think that would be, that'd be nice. Oh, I pressed off. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just, sometimes my phone flashes, I'm just like, is that important? Nothing is important as streaming right now, except it does. Water D's nuts. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed. That shouldn't be that funny, but for some reason, it was. <laughs> yes. <laughs> why do you think I was talking about menus and trying to give people roles? The urge to purge you? <laughs> There's no, it's... Joke. <laughs> Is a joke. It's not offensive, it's just dumb. <laughs> but I, I like things that are dumb. <laughs> Some things that are, aren't that funny, and I'm just like, very funny. Because <laughs> this morning, I, I told Di, I was like, my dad drank all the NyQuil, and then he replies, our quill. I was just like, I, I hate you. I hate you that that's fucking funny. <laughs> I'm really upset right now. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't make me laugh. Choke purge and retaliation. <laughs> There's a slippery slope of like abusing moderator Arquil comrade. <laughs> there there's a um a uh, slippery slope of abusing moderation tools for jokes. Like I like that, but it can get out of hand really easily. <laughs> uh, Ninety percent of everything I say is a dumb, unfunny joke. Sometimes the fact that it's unfunny makes it funny. I think when people repeat stuff and do the same thing, I think it's funnier. Like, if they always do that and I expect it, I'm just like, yep. Yep. I don't know. It's just different. I do actually have, like, a game slated to be played, but that's only if things die, die, die down. Um, Because I like talking. And it's good. It's a good practice to, you know talk and just be used to talking instead of focusing on only a game and i wasn't even sure what to play like i i've set it up for moonlighter but there's a part of me that <laughs> i didn't see an alert oh flynn mandrick followed thank you for following um there you go there you go mix it up and it didn't show up on stream elements um Oh wait, no, it's it's not the same thing. It doesn't show up in line, which is stupid. But hi, hi Flynn, thank you for following. I like how Tits gets it first and smacks me, and then a few seconds later, you get the alert. Mix it up alerts used to be pretty prompt, but it's it's having a hard time. I think because it's processing chat messages, it's having problems processing everything else. I think I've like bogged it down with the chat message. I mean, I might, I like the noises though. I really do like the chat message noises. Can, can I play sounds through stream elements? I mean, I can code everything with JavaScript. It tits, yeah. It's, it's funny, but it makes you sound dumb. Because I, I had to search for a guide for tits, and what do you think showed up? <laughs> uh, it's SEO is not very good. Uh, I was saying, oh yeah, stream elements. Like, I can code everything, and some people have alerts straight through stream elements, so I guess I could probably play sounds. I, I would have a better time having JavaScript sounds through the chat and processing it, not through Mix It Up on its 
half-assed if statements. Who needs SEO when you have a Potter's name? <laughs> um, Twitch, and you and you can't write tits in in your uh, channel point descriptions. It's like this does not meet our community guidelines. I'm like, it's my stream. I can say tits if I want to. Uh, but no, I had to write like Twitch throwable system, and I don't write the Twitch integratable throwable something. I'm just like Twitch throwables, something like that. Yeah, okay, that's on my to-do list. I'll, um, I will, uh, see if I can make the sounds come from stream elements instead. That, uh, on a technical level, that shouldn't actually be that hard. I just didn't, I didn't think about it. I, kn I know that Mix It Up has have been pro problems processing going through, like, eight different if statements. Um, that could, that could help. Uh... Nope, no tits allowed. Sorry, blame the titty streamers for making that banned. Oh wait, is that why? Is that why it's banned? Especially no blue-footed boobies. Uh, that would make sense of why I guess it would be banned because Twitch really, really, really does not want you to think it's an adult site. Uh, sorry, <laughs> that's, that's unfortunately not how these things work. Um, at least right now, it's not how they work. At this point, they should just make a adult version of Twitch. <laughs> but that's not good marketing or advertising or whatever. It makes advertisers feel bad or something like that. Uh, but sometimes you're just like, I uh, I really wish kids weren't here. I don't I don't want no. I don't I don't want you looking at my stuff. I'm not even that extreme. Looks <laughs> chatterbait. <laughs> but it's not backed by Amazon. <laughs> uh, what's gonna say? You need adult version of Twitch when we can get a safer work version of Chatterbait. <laughs> I like how you both made a Chatterbait joke. It's not backed by Amazon yet. Uh, Twitch, unfortunately, is like yeah. I haven't marked as a a mature broadcast or something. It's not like specifically say no minors allowed, but it says uh like a warning about mature content. And I do have that turned on unless I somehow got turned off at some point in time. Ah! <laughs> okay, that's too many. I didn't realize that would be that many. Holy shit. I did the numbers wrong. Uh, oh my God, how did I do this? Uh, no, please stop. What did I do? How did I mess that up so bad? Stop. It's just one for every bit. I guess there's a- I guess it's a thousand. <laughs> How do- I, 0 0.5. Can I do 0 0.5? I- Well this- And then I put three, so it's gonna send 3,000. <laughs> See when you when you test this, it only tests with one bit. I, I die, <laughs> die. Oh, you broke my model. Hold on. You've broken my model. Die tits. No more tits. There we go. Just uh. <laughs> I did not realize it would do that. I reset myself. <laughs> Boy, well, that's good for a clip. <laughs> I couldn't see myself because I was aggressively trying to to stop something, so I didn't actually get to see it. <laughs> you will want to send you one object. You will. Want it to send one object per like. Oh, I didn't know how to set it though. It says it says like amount to throw one to three, and then it says how many objects per bits, and I can only set it at zero or one. Audible, <laughs> please consult creator. It was not it was not meant for that. Oh. Dear Lord, I was like, hey, look, hello. All right. Also, uh, thank you for the bits. <laughs> uh. I'm sure you enjoyed that chaos that just ensued. 
Oh, right. I used to make- well, I turned it off. I- did you not witness me just- just, uh, close tits? Because I didn't know how to stop it. <laughs> Can refund the points. Um, let me pause the redeems on that. No, it, uh... It, uh... <laughs> yeah, no, uh, tits just... I know, but I'm scared now. I don't I don't have the brain cells to set it correctly right now. <laughs> I I'm out of I'm out of brain cells. Um I know I know it seems something easy that's probably two numbers, but like for some reason the the thought of trying to deal with that makes me like uh There are many things scuff currently. I'm having fun though. As soon as you open it continues. Like the whole thing where it can double send stuff that as soon as you uh, f accept the thing it will also do it. Um. I'm having fun even though my brain cells are dying. Uh. Oh yeah I was talking about how like I have it set to play Moonlighter. Not set it. I might play Moonlighter. Uh let me read the actual message from Thoughts for Fun. Gotta go. Appreciate your stream. Model's pretty sick. No lie. Have a great day, y'all. Thank you. It has no bits. Um. <laughs> uh. If people weren't talking, I I plan to try and play a game. Yeah, I do wish Moonlighter was co-op. Uh, like if people stop talking, I may switch to play a game. Um. But I kind of almost wanted to play Sims 3 for the memes. <laughs> but I also, like, talk and play and just play something dumb like Sims 3. But I also micromanage my Sims to such a high degree that it actually takes focus of how hard I micromanage their lives. <laughs> I want to run shop. No good at fighting. I, I enjoyed the fighting even if I wasn't super good at it. Um... Uh, but no, someone else being able to shop while someone fights and stuff would be really nice. But I understand that the, the Moonlight the game was not designed quite for that. It's not that the systems are impossible to implement, because I don't think it has, like, a really complex... Because, like, Slime Rancher, you're like, of course there's no multiplayer. Um, it's entirely physics-based. That's a nightmare to calculate through netcode when we did the mod, and it was, it was a nightmare. Um... But I can I can understand them making it for a uh, a uh, single player mind. Uh, no bits, Mega Mind. No fucking Mega Mind thing. Why is Mega Mind only known for that? Mega Mind's actually a really good movie. <laughs> oh, but there is. There's a buggy mod. Ah, so you know. Oh, for Slime Rancher. Yeah. Uh, me and uh, Sufi played the buggy Slime Rancher uh co-op mod. Uh, we tried. We tried. It, it didn't end up working. Uh, it's on, it's on uh, my YouTube. Uh, just like testing out. And I think it shows up pretty high when you search for Slime Rancher Co-op, which is kind of fun. Megamind's also known for starring popular YouTube Markiplier. I love Megamind. Megamind's so good. And like, I think it, it came out at the same time as Despicable Me, and they were both about villains. And then obviously, as you, as you well understand, Despicable Me did a little better. Oh, just a little bit. <laughs> So it kind of got overshadowed. The difference between a villain and a supervillain. Uh-huh. And I love you too, random citizen. <laughs> it's so good. Um. Hey! Hi, Veal! Feel a little shallow. I don't know how to say things. You're just shadow, right? Presentation! Oh, yeah, presentation! Thank you for following! I'm sorry you didn't get see potions hit me, but um, it's currently out of service because I don't want to deal with it. Shadow! There's there's people named V, there's people named Little Something, and there's people there's multiple people saying Shadow or Shadow X. Like there's a lot of similar names and I'm just like I one of these names is correct. <laughs> just Shadow's okay. I, I was trying to I was trying to remember like I was pretty sure th this one this is just Shadow. Uh you should go back and clip it. Well I mean I'm gonna go back and clip it if you don't. V big shadow. 
yeah, Shadox, I read it as Shadow, but then there's this Shadow, and then there's other things, and then everyone's got red names, so I'm just like, I can't. And then there's, like, really popular streamers who have, like, 3,000 people chats, and they're reading the lines as they go by. Like, they can take one glance and read a whole message, and I'm just like, I, uh, I'm good at reading. I'm not that good at reading. Shadow is my YouTube sister. I don't mention her at all, I swear. <laughs> Shadow a good name. Yeah. <laughs> I like my big emotes. I like I stole that. I saw that from someone else's um uh chat box that if you do one emote it makes it bigger. I'm like, cool, I'm stealing this. This is mine now. Head pass, head pass. I have I have a head pat. I don't have like a thing that can be on my model, but I do have the animated head pat emote. Got that. And then for some reason, the emote walls of, like, both Streamlabs and Stream Elements can't do animated ones. And I'm like, it's, it's just a PNG. Why can't you animate it? And then there's the aggressive head pets. Like, I mean, maybe there's something I don't understand. Um, but there's, like, no reason something that just shows an image and bounces it shouldn't just be animated. And maybe, I guess, maybe the way Twitch grabs it or sends it through the API. I don't know. Um, I was going to say something else. Something about my skirt. Oh, uh, there's a lot of things that you are like, this should be easy, Shad, Shadox. Uh, to avoid confusion, I can always bring copy paste in direction that I always forget about. <laughs> um, there's a lot of, <laughs> thank you. Now, uh, can you put that in, in the discord so I can get it later? Um. Ramshackle, sassy vanilla, not like this. Um, <laughs> oh, there's a lot of stuff that you're you're like, this should be easy. Why don't they do that? And then you actually try and do it, and you're like, oh god, I understand. Because I used to get really, really annoyed with um, skirt physics and clipping issues. I'm like, why can't they just do the physics to where it doesn't clip? Oh my god, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's so hard. <laughs> it is so difficult to to deal with, ga with the game physics of trying to animate cloth and make it not clip with stuff, but still move and not freak out. It's, it's so difficult. Like, Magic of Cloth is really good, but, I mean, if you do really extreme stuff, it'll still clip. And if you're in, like, an action-adventure game, you're gonna run around and stuff. But yeah, cloth physics is hell on Earth. Um... So I'm just like, if I make something, I, I know it's probably hard, but I'm going to make it not clip. And she's like, Up, absolutely no. Uh, if it clips, it clips. Uh, there's nothing that can be done. <laughs> uh, that's my, my philosophy on it now. And she's like, oh, okay. I, I accept this now. Um, go ahead, clip. I don't care. Ugh. And you have to decide if they, ho they hover their arms like three feet over their skirts. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Further it is. Ow. My hand, my webcam doesn't go far enough to grab my hand, so it can get me scratching my ear, though. Plan B, everyone wears pants. That's why I have, I have shorts. And then I have a skirt over it, but it's not closed skirt. So it has more freedom to not get caught on things. And, uh... If my arms go all the way straight down, they do clip through the skirt. But in BC Face, you can set the arm length to not be, don't do that. Hey, pants. <laughs> but yeah, that's the reason all female protagonists, most female protagonists don't, of like action adventure games, don't, don't have skirts. Um, and if anyone does, like, or, or short skirts, they're like a tube. They're a tube that, that just form around your body because that's the most consistent way to animate it is using bones you literally have bones for the skirt and then you connect it with the leg bones to to just work together and weight paint it more specifically um but i just bought magical cloth which was 25 dollars, and then it was not easy it didn't make it super easy but it did it well you always slack and get wet easily and limit your movement 
I, pants are okay. I used to only, as a teenager, I would always wear jeans no matter what, even when I was laying and resting. And then as an adult, I'm like, these are so uncomfortable. Let me wear something, either shorts or really, really floofy. Um, or skirts, just because I'm like, I don't, I don't want anything on my legs. I just, I'm chilling at home. I don't want anything on my legs. Like jeans, okay, you with North Korea on. <laughs> I don't know. As a teenager, I just always wore jeans, and it was never a problem. I never had issues with it. I would like take a nap in jeans, and now I'm just like, that's insane. I, it's so uncomfortable. I, I want to be out of form fitting clothes. Um. As much as possible, and also uh, my weight makes uh, having jeans hard. Um, uh, so I have a lot of sweatpants, and then my mom got me stuff from Walmart that they're. It looks like a really long skirt, except they're actually pants. They're two separate pants, but they're so they're like of the material of a long skirt. So it's kind of stupid, but they're really comfortable. <laughs> And of course, they're like loud floral patterns. And there's one solid black one. Because it's so weird that like. I hate pants. It's my opinion. Don't turn me into a marked plushie because of it. <laughs> um, I don't like clothes shopping. So I haven't been specifically clothes shopping in years. But my mom will just look at something and be like. I'll get this for her. And then she'll get it in the perfect size. And she's like, I. I don't know my size. We've never measured my size. How do you find things that fit me perfectly every time? It's so weird. She has very mother qualities that are just like the magic mother qualities of like, she remembers every single uh, food order from every single restaurant. If you ordered more than twice, she will log that in her memory of you when you go to this restaurant that we've only been to five times, this is what you ordered last time. Uh, basically, it's one thing for my dad. My dad's like, what did I order last time? What have I tried? And she's like, you like this. You didn't like this. You tried that. And it was okay. And you didn't like this. And she's like, I, I forget. I forget all the time. Of like what people, sp I try to remember things people like. I do remember like things and some, Thank you for the applause! I like that little animation emote. I think the applause and fail boats are like the earliest channel points I've ever made, but they're they're just kind of funny. I like them. My order for everyone restaurant everyone restaurant I've been to. Ah. It's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> I am. Um, I remember what I like, and I try to like keep notes, mental notes on what things like people like. Uh just to, I I, I want to do stuff that's relevant to them. Um, but I, I have to think harder about that. I have to put a concert, a concentrated effort to get that to work. Well, my mom just seems to just remember it. Same thing. Yeah, I I also order the same thing all the time. Um, I I've gotten to the phase that I do try new things, but a lot of times I'm like, I want food. And I don't want to try something new and go through the experience. I just want to get what I got. Just make it easier. So that's how it ends up. Um, I'm certainly very tired. <laughs> uh, still want to keep going. I just... A uh, fading. Uh, excitement. Nervousness. Dramatics. So there's a dramatic arc of where tis exploded. Um, this fucking tune, spook tune. <laughs> so dumb. I comment on the music all the time. I no, also, I swear to God, there is music in here that's not Undertale. I I set music that was not Undertale. That one, Robone. Green Hill Zone. See, I was wondering where those were. I had like a few F Zero tracks. I sent music that is not under. I mean, you switch to another Undertale song.
I, I, I like F Zero music, but the only ones I remember are Big Blue and Mute City. And they're the only ones I put up on here. Uh, but yeah, this isn't going to make sense because I've separated the music. Um, I've separated the music from the VOD track. <laughs> so it, it doesn't record on the VOD. Uh, I, th I think it doesn't record on my recordings either. I, I didn't record this because I have, I had three different uh, 3D programs running and then I was going to play a game. Um, so I didn't think my computer could handle recording it. Cause I, I didn't test how, if, it, the stream would die if I played an intensive game. Um, but in, in the worst case, I can turn off the wind motion capture and just have the iPhone only and VC face. Um, that's probably a good idea when I'm uh, just streaming a game because I, it doesn't have to have head movements. But if you're just staring at me, eh, you want to see things move. Yeah, the stats has good music. Remember the last meal... The last meal out I had was a T-bone steak with truffle macaroni and cheese, which had a very odd but nice white cheese, and a Coke along with a nice flourless slice of chocolate cake. That's good. It it doesn't like me nodding. It doesn't it doesn't quite like the nodding. If I can shake my head no. It loves that. It's perspective. Perspective of the face gets a little weird. That's just like Life. MBC Face is having a hard time calculating the angles. That's just life in general. Uh, face proportions when you put them in cameras get really weird. Um, <laughs> see, normally when I when I the the live two D, I try I did try hard, but like there was a lot that I couldn't capture and most of it was because I was doing pixel art it was very limited um it was very limited um but uh it just in general at all in general it is limited so there's not a lot of difference of me talking and looking at something or me just looking out in space but with 3D it captures it so well of just like uh and I keep doing it. And one of it, the reasons is that I'm actually looking at it. Like, I have it on the screen on OBS and on VC Face Because I'm currently talking, so I'm looking at myself. And if I was playing a game, I probably wouldn't notice as much. But I, I did show everyone a clip or, that I was showing the in-process of. clip of me playing a uh, test in Apico. And I just look and just, like, you see things going. No, I done the back, back, back. Stop. <laughs> Wait, where did, where did it go? I want this one. And this is the only one I have from Mario and Luigi Superstars. Because I'll add, like, sound soundtracks, and then I'll just, like, yeah, this is Sonic. It has a bunch of good tracks. And then I'll get a bunch of tracks that are, like, not quite right. And I'm just like, what What did I download? Perception can change, except for your IP address. Your IP address can change really easily. 66666. Six, six, six. Um... Well, it's something. Do you have enough? I don't think you have enough points for that. Um, or sixty six. Uh, it's a uh, it's something. Save up and find out. <laughs> uh, if you saw our ho the Halloween stream that I played World of Horror with Sufi, um, play f play fist bump. Um. You would have known. I mean, that's still on YouTube if you wanted to look at it, but uh, it's 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 a thing. But I have enough points for it. I thought you're the one who hated it. You can do it. Let me just turn the music down. You can absolutely do it. Show everyone what six 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 means. I think it was six six six, but um. That was too low. I'm just waiting for it. That's six 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 six. Six. 
play it. Do it. I guess I can do it. Maybe I will do it. Let me give Sufi a moment to decide if they want to do it. Oh my god, this music's really loud. There you go. Oh, that was too low. Here we go. I like how Lunky stays here. It's a bitch when you're not expecting it. <laughs> in a in a dumb way, I'm proud of that one because it was really effective. Because <laughs> like jump scares, you played knocking on the door. It makes you feel bad. I changed all the chat noises to heartbeats. I'm like, this makes me feel uncomfortable. But the but just the gaster is like almost funny because it's just like staring at you with this loud noise. And she's like, ha, 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 I I didn't, I was going to put up a video or put together a video of some of the in process of this model because there are so many cursed things that happen with 3D models, like trying to move the head and then it rends from points, but it's connected to the other points. There's so much like cursed crap with 3D models. But I ended up not a... You are scared of Populous as a kid. Yes, I was scared of Populous as a kid because it just had a, a heartbeat in the background and I think it was, like, connected to, um... Whatchamacallit? Um... Great Hillstone. Uh, it was connected to, like, the general how you were doing. Like, if you were being attacked, it was faster and stuff. And it just freaked me out as a kid. Like, it was... It's a creepy noise if you're not, like, being comforted by it. Um, so it makes... I hate like heartbeat sounds that go on for too long so i changed so in world of horror for halloween i changed every chat noise into a heartbeat sound which ran great because it was only one sound and didn't have to process a whole bunch of other stuff i don't know if i deleted that i think i um uh events my fellow monsters is shivoy gaster doing a void challenge so much stuff I mix it up now. There's like Trovo and Gilgamesh and a lot of um fringe stuff. I would say it doesn't have own cast, but own cast like is not a server a server thing. Um you run it yourself. Uh let's see chat. They move stuff. Some stuff isn't it generic, I think. Generic chat message. Oh, where's the where's the fucking chat message? Uh, they changed it. Channel stream start. Channel stream stop. Channel. Still don't do uh, YouTube yet though. Where? Oh, chat. Chat is a different section. Uh, chat message received. Did I void out the heartbeat? There we go. Uh, mongrel. What about mongrel? I hear a lot of mongrel playing Pathfinder. I popped my jaw. I can move my mouth uh, left and right. And my jaw. I just make dumb faces while I do it. I can technically do like when S Snuffy first had this detailed of a model and I was like, how do you do it? It's, it's so extreme. And what did you do? And there, and she's just like, there's just blend shapes. Um, she like did, but better puckered, but with the cheeks puffed out. That was not good again. Gilgamesh. Did I say Gilgamesh? Gaster. I say Gilgamesh. I don't think I said Gilgamesh. Also, the chat message. Received. Oh, because the heartbeat's noise isn't where it's supposed to be anymore. Oh, because it's a download, and I changed my downloads. Damn it! I was gonna turn on the the heartbeat noise. Uh. Uh. Let's see.
We're just gonna do singular chat noises. Wait, let me also turn on has played. That can be fine. My first impression of you was 3D Alex from Minecraft. Doesn't Alex have like orange hair? I a green shirt. That's also fair. I'm not that blocky. I'm not, I've got a I've got a good few polygons. Not as many as like other models though. Like I see I don't know anything about 3D model with like sub divide modifiers where they subdivide everything and smooth them out automatically. I'm just like, yeah, no. I don't do that. I don't do that. Uh no 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 smoothing for me. Just just stuff. I, I had to choose if like the face or it looks too weird. Also Minecraft is 3D. Yes, 3D Alex for Minecraft is, I guess, redundant because Minecraft is 3D. Which is a 2D texture, though. Extra 3D. Yeah, smooth 3D, not just a block. More, not more dimensions, more uh, detail. My last brain cell is escaping. HD three, <laughs> HD three D. I'm assuming you're making fun of the HD two D that I I hate with a passion. <laughs> HD three D. HD three D is like OLED, basically. If I never had brain cells in the first place, they couldn't escape. This is true. This is technically the truth. That's one of my favorite subs. Is are technically the truth. HD2D is like Octopath Traveler, and then they have another one called Triangle Strategy, and it's 2D sprites, but it's got the bloom filter turned to the max, and it has um uh really dark outlines, um or like grunginess on top of it. So it's 2D sprites, but they're and they're in a 3D world. The lighting effects are extreme and it, everything looks washed out and bloomed and when they rotate the camera it it shears the pixels because they're not rotating the same way and always facing the the camera properly and i think it oh and live alive i remember uh but it to me it looks god awful and it's not just a pixel art thing i think in general it looks god awful to me um, someone tried to like kind of fight me on it. And I was just like, well, other things look bad. I'm like, Undertale looks bad. I'm like, yes, but it's different than a different way. This is high effort for something that looks like a turd. Uh, but because it's HD 2D, a lot of people, like normal people, are just like, oh yeah, it's so great. It's lighting effects. Like normal normal people see lighting effects and higher frame rate on anything, and they're like, yeah, this is so much better. I'm like, it technical. Processing power does not mean better. Like, just because it's more detailed or has is more technical doesn't mean it's actually better. Because I'm pretty sure, like, something like Octopath Traveler, it's going to look like, look at the same way, like, 10 years ago that all those 3D games were trying to do really big graphics, but everything was, like, washed out and had, you know, the bloom and things like that. And that looks so dated. Yet Wind Waker does not look dated in the slightest. Zelda Wind Waker does not look does not look dated. Twilight Princess looks dated. Um and Twilight Princess came out after Wind Waker. Um put ray tracing on Minecraft like great, I can't see. Yeah. The, sometimes the lighting could be cool, but like at night you can't see. Or does it? Hey Vsauce. <laughs> I would have to see first. Um yeah, you can just google Octopath. Yeah, I think I don't know if you can uh I think it was H HD 2.5D or HD 2D. Either or. Um, it's... Uh, I hate it. Um, Octopath, like, it's probably a good game. It's just, uh, I, don't, I don't know, it looks bad. It has... Does it have octopuses? Octopite? Nah. I don't even know what Octopath Traveler is. I knew it was, like, Final Fantasy-ish. Um, I just could not get over how bad the graphics are. Um... And why people are like, yeah, this is great. I'm like, uh, no. 
no. Because there's like Eastbird has um, fancy lighting, but it's specific to the pixels and it feels more intentional. And the and I was seeing the in-process uh, screenshots and it's it's a really complex system to preserve the look of 2D sprites, but having, you know, 3D lighting and stuff like that. And I think it looks gorgeous. And the person that was talking about Octopath Travel doesn't think it looks that great. I'm like, it, you can do post-processing stuff with pixel art, but just slapping some weird filter and bloom on it looks awful. Um, upcoming Sea of Stars. I don't. I haven't seen that. Um, what was I gonna say? That mixels get me. Cause like I really like Turnip Boy commits tax evasion. It's pretty cute, but all the boss monsters are like the same size sprites as your character, just times ten. I'm like, this looks awful. I don't like this. This uh does not look great. <laughs> uh, I don't like it. But it's not god awful because it kind of matches and it doesn't have like weird lighting effects. But I don't know. Sometimes like you can do whatever. Pixel art isn't limited limited anymore it's not it's not just like retro i i don't like the the thought that pixel art it just means retro now um it's kind of evolved into its own thing and you don't have to go by the limitations but if you're making a choice to make it pixel art and there's certain things that look better with pixel art and stuff like choices that make more sense and look look overall look good and just throwing it all the window to just do stock unity lighting and stuff it's just like why why did why didn't you just have other drawn assets instead of pixel art then <laughs> the point of pixel art is that it's pixel perfect not not really it's not anymore but <laughs> i guess i i just i just like mismatching assets basically but I, I also like, I liked Ragnarok Online, which is 2D sprites on um, pretty, with extremely low poly uh, 3D. But it kind of worked. I don't, I don't know exactly why. I think it was just like, but the, the, the actual maps were not really lit. I don't, I don't believe they were lit in a particular way. Some of them had effects, but they did not have in-depth lighting because this game came out in like well, 2004 or something fairy of the era yeah uh when, when did ragnar come along about it's like it's like 2002 or 2004 or something uh ps2 L atelier games were all like that yeah i'm, I'm looking at sea of stars i only know about messenger it has good music oh it has different perspectives sea of stars oh I want to see the sh how this perspective shifts. Yeah, it has light. Oh, I remember seeing this part. Um, it has like lighting effects, but like they're done well. They're they are a lot of them like reflection in the water and shadows, but they're pixel perfect and they they go through the train. So the train is slightly three D, but they looks two D. The normal maps, basically, it's called a normal map that you apply lighting to it, and it's kind of Chrono Triggerish too. Um, uh, it's really pretty. I like it. I just like, I, I like, um, eight direction sprites. Undyne, Sea of Stars, can't swim though. Gorgeous, right? Yeah. I don't know if I like the big monsters, but like, the characters are really good. The character sprites are really nice and they're eight directionals. Uh, holiday 2022. Oh, interesting. Yeah, the environments are like maybe a little too detailed. Not, it's not bad. It's not bad in the slightest. I just preference but the characters. The characters are perfect. I love Failboat. Failboat's great. Fucking Titanic shit reporter. The funny part about Failboat is that it very rarely gets used in the proper context. It's just people like seeing it. People like seeing things be put on screen, which is fine. It's engagement. People like that. Um, I wish 
I, I kind of have, I haven't ever thought of a system, but I was like, I want to there to be more engaging things on, on the screen, but I have to, I have to code it myself because anything anyone has is not what I want. <laughs> uh, Cause there's like this thing where you can put like a animate. I saw it on a second in a, you do it in context. Uh, most people don't. Um, and applause. Come on, it looks like people are drowning. <laughs> um, saw it on TikTok for a second. It's like, did, are you are you seeing streamers with little animated pets on the side of their thing? Go to this website and you can get them for free or pay for some. I'm like, it's it's just like, I programmed that basically for my little avatar, and it is like the most basic ass Java per, JavaScript program. So it's just a bunch of if if statements, and it's probably not like even a hundred lines long and it's easy at all but like people will um uh, will uh well stream avatars is a little different because you can customize it this is like literally just like a little pet in the corner that's specific to the streamer and it does little other actions um and stream avatars has like an api and a currency system and stuff this is just it just shows pets i'm just like i i understand it's it's a tendency of thank you I need that. Hey, listen. It is a tendency of um developers and web developers that they create an application and then immediately, like for no fault of their own, they must monetize it, and they can't monetize it by just saying give donations. Uh, there has to be some monetization system. And I think about that too. I also think about like Twitch cards and stuff like that. Um, but that's the reason I think about monetization is because like it's server and database and payment processing. Um, a little, a little baby rallet. So cute. Sorry. <laughs> No VTuber sneeze, sneezes, VTuber burps. Usually they aren't that audible. Um, but I don't know. There's just so many times I'm looking for something. I'm looking for one specific thing. Just I have a unique problem and then there's one specific thing. And then you find a website that's saying featured on the New York Times and Wired and blah, blah, blah. And it's. What the thing, the product that does one job and it's the one job I needed and it's like 40 bucks. It's just, it was just like a thing that magnetically holds your cord instead of st uh, strapping it down. I'm like, this would be really useful for, hold for holding up a cord. And it's like, it's like 30 bucks. And I'm just like, I, <laughs> I understand you deserve to make money from your inventions, but oh my God, it's it shouldn't be that much. It's just, it shouldn't be like this cool luxury design item. It's just, it, utility items should be util, utility. I, I dislike luxurious items that are supposed to be used for mostly utility. I hate a suey third revolution of Valve. I actually have, I haven't played Ar Arceus. Um, so I don't know what the Hisuian inversions look like. But yeah, there's so many like, either apps or products that solve one specific problem and they do it probably well, so they capitalize on it. I'm just like, can, can it just be affordable? <laughs> why Why does it have to be marked up? It's just, it's just you have one job. And then I also hate Amazon reviews that are just like, yeah, I had this product and I had to replace the strips to put up someone else because it wasn't strong enough. And then I cut the hole a little bit to to fit a bigger cord, but it's great. Five, f five out of five stars. It's just like the product didn't do what you wanted. You had to modify it. That's not a good product. If it tells you you can do this and you have to modify it, that's not, that's not five out of five stars. Hot take utility should be affordable. Yeah. <laughs> that's apparently a hot take of things for utility should be affordable. Cause like, it would be nice to have it, but like it's seen as a luxury to have a specific thing that's not jank that you did yourself. Um, I know I'm the queen of doing things myself, 
like, I don't like how this 3D avatar works. I'm not going to buy one. I'm going to learn everything about 3D avatar, 3D avatars just to, just to, uh, uh, learn myself or do it myself. I'm the queen of doing that, but sometimes I get tired and I just want to buy a product that does what I need without trying to edit it. And I'm just like, uh, uh, the new fire set looks like he eats crayons and scooper. <laughs> Told you about the seven C's. Well, it's, it's not like so, so well, I mean, there is software, but like, it's usually not stuff that you can just, uh, rip the program. Um, but I stand Donald Duck look alike. Wish it for deep. VTuber mod. Yes, they are very expensive. Um, understandably, though, uh, like, Live 2D is really, really complex, and rigging is very hard, um, and both of them have to rig. And 3D modeling, because some people are like, 3D is easier. I'm like, this is, ooh, this is a lot harder. Um, little Coco. Um, they all have different challenges, but they, to, to complete a model is not a small feat. I know I look dumb because I literally made the Pixel 3D, the Pixel Live 2D model like three months ago, and then I have a new model. But I'm not the I'm not the standard. <laughs> um, uh, I'm I'm definitely not the standard. Uh, when it comes to it, it's, and also I get really focused and I don't have a main job, so stuff's hard. And artists deserve to get. I do enjoy suffering. This is true. This is true. Um, and artists deserve to get paid for their, their stuff. Also, ADD. I've had ADD brain recently a lot. Um, that's one thing. Art is, oh, to a degree, art is a luxury. It's also service. It, it is a service. It is a luxury service. Um, so it should not just be paid by the process, the amount it took to make it only, like the amount of materials it took to make shouldn't be the only cost of it. You finished the live 2D and your new hyperfixation was low poly. Yeah. I just, I, uh, I really like low poly. And then it, it was seeing the, um, I mean, more like you can't afford V2 models. Not that they should be cheaper. Oh, yeah, no, I can't afford V2 models. <laughs> no, I gotta make it myself. I can't afford it. Um, uh, yeah, I saw the Hololives, or Kiara's, uh, video of Dreaming Choo Choo, which had the low poly models from, uh, Pete Pichiru, and done by Kanaru, uh, movie done by Kanaru, and I'm like, those are adorable, and then they did live streams of, like, dancing with those models, their low poly models, I'm like, they're so cute in motion, because I see low poly all the time, but seeing them in, like, tracked motion was so cute. I was just like, I, I want that. I want that. And technically is mostly free to make that. It just takes time and effort. So, I have time. I have time. The effort part's a little harder to grab, but I, I've got a lot of time. So, I, I made it work. I didn't say how much I do like this model. Um, hello, croissant Yoon. We are two hours in and I was sleeping. Dreaming. Uh, oh, that's a cute emote. The little lurk. I like the, like the pastel and like the opalescent eyes. Very cute. Um. But what what I liked about this model is that like I did the how to say that I did the art for it. I drew in a different style, but intending it for low poly by doing like flat. I am very sleepy. Uh, doing flat uh colors. And the model I made it changed it changed a little bit. But the model I made looks a lot like the drawing I made. And in pixel art, I can't. I usually can't do that. I can't make a design and then stick to it and end up what I wanted. This this model looks like what I envisioned it to be. And that's like groundbreaking. Um I mean some artists may be able to visualize what they want and make it exactly, but for me, I I often can't make 
exactly what I visualized. And this is, for the most part, exactly what I wanted and worked the way I wanted. I had a lot of pain and suffering, but um, it came out with the style that I wanted. It ended up quite, quite different from the Pichiru models. Uh, there are a lot of different stuff, especially the hands, uh, but I should, I need to redo the hands. Um, but that's not a priority. And the hands are not a priority, because they're, they're, okay, like, I've, I should have changed the palm color. I think I should have changed the palm color. But I'm not going to re, uh, re-put all the physics and the blend shapes right now. Um, unfortunately, if VR avatar, VRM avatars get their textures baked in, so I could, in Unity, I can swip, swap the texture file and do something else. But that doesn't work uh, here. Um, but yeah, I definitely need to put a little list of things I want because I think when I talk, my top teeth don't show enough. So it kind of looks a little bit like the my range of movement in my mouth is um a little limited. So I mostly open my mouth and there's like no teeth. Um, the top teeth are curved to a degree and they should be less curved. Um, but I had to move the teeth down a lot because it would just show not at all, no matter what I opened. Um, but I could go further with that. Uh, but just make like a list of the little things I want to change, and then any new additions, and then wait like a month before I do them. Do them. Um, I need to. I need to have time to process, and probably start on a different model or or. Make the assets. Uh, I should probably make more assets. Um, I really like the trick that I used for the potions, but in actual application, it looks, it's really hard. Anything that clips through it looks very strange. And a lot of shaders get upset. Like the uh, tits will not change. It won't let you get a material that's unlit. It just has its own lighting. I'm like, but I want this to be unlit to fit with me. But that's just the limitation of uh, hits. It is a Unity project, so it uh, it has the capacity to run with with materials and shaders. It just doesn't. Um, so there are things I want to change, but overall, I am satisfied with this model. And uh, I'll be glad to actually stream with it. Which, if you can tell, we're not going to stream a game today <laughs> after this because. Uh, <laughs> you can definitely tell uh, that's that's not gonna happen. Uh, pretty good. Just talk for two hours. That's pretty good. It's good practice to not um have to rely on a game only. Cause when I when I play games, I do often just focus on the game only, and and uh not talk about anything else or stories and part of it's because I'm distracted but I should focus more on trying to just talk talk at length without having to have a collab partner or someone to talk to it's a good skill to have and the fact I can do it while I'm sleepy is good though it's more a little bit rambling nonsense but eh, it's fine some of you are still here I, I don't even have the twitch thing open I don't, I don't know um uh, why am I getting the announcement from Kane for five minutes ago? Discord, what's wrong with you? Um, or my phone Discord, because my phone Discord gave me a message even though I'm on streamer mode and sent it five minutes ago. Okay, whatever. Um, uh, uh, I don't, I don't remember what I was going to say. Scuffed. The stream is scuffed, but I think I think it was success. Phone discourse super slow book, yeah. I would call it a success. Um, people showed up. I don't think... And I think a few people, um, TikTok people showed up. But uh, and I didn't expect like a huge thing. I said it's not a subathon or anything like that or a big event. I just want to show off the model and People saw, people liked, and people talked for like two hours. And we're trickling down. Oh, I was saying that I don't even have my Twitch dashboard up, so I, I, I don't know what my views have been the whole time. Like, I, I have it in a, in a, 
browser, but I wasn't really looking at it, so I, I don't know what my views have been this whole time. It doesn't really matter. People, if we're on Trussell, uh, if people are talking to me, it, it's good. I can tell people are, are fading away, but that's because I am also fading away. <laughs> uh, I just haven't got to, like, talk, talk to anyone in a while. Like, actually use my voice. I got mod view, but I don't think it tells that. Oh. I guess so. Also, my hands are solidly, um, crossed. You get the mic, that hand keeps coming up. It's, like, detecting part of my neck as a hand. But, uh, I just haven't, like, talk talk. Like, usually I talk on Dai's tea stream, but he was having a good time just chatting with people, so I didn't I didn't hop on. And then I should have gotten to bed a lot earlier than I did. For stream without view account, it's too stressful while there isn't much you can do to impact it. Okay, my hands are not up there. Stop it. Um It's because I'm leaned forward. It kinda has an issue. Um I do have the viewer count, but like it's less of a like, oh no, there's not enough viewers, but just like I, cause I also try to time the ad breaks for to get rid of pre-rolls, but I've been talking the whole time, so I haven't even dealt with that. So it's just like 30 seconds of, or like a minute of ads every 30 minutes. Um, I just use it as a data point, not as a, oh no, I'm doing bad or good. It's more just like knowing if I go BRB now, there's eight people where they suddenly were before. Something like that. I don't know. I can't describe how I think about it, but I, I don't stress out about it. I'm just like, oh, okay, that many people have done it. But I just I just haven't paid attention, and then now my, my browser is open to Sea of Stars. I don't feel like changing it back. <sighs> Usually it's good to just look at my bitrate and stuff. Well, let me look at my bitrate make sure it's okay. Did I tank at all? No, bitrate's good. Ad managers. Well, I have more viewers than I thought I would. Um... Ugh. It's never indicative of how many people are chatting versus viewers. It's always, it's always different. TikTok's interesting because the engagement is through the roof. And not like in a dumb statistical sense, like it gets shown to people and people like it and people comment to like a high degree. Like there's one that I, like the Apico uh thing has like 300 views which is good for like compared to youtube but 72 people liked it 72 out of 300 people who liked it interacted with it and said hey i like this and i'm just like wow twitter nobody sees it after two hours it's dead and then the apico views climbed over about four or five days of that clip it, it still existed and were shown to people and i'm not I don't, I'm not a big person, but it got shown and recommended by algorithms. Um, instead of Twitter, I'm just like, eh, yeah, you don't have followers. I don't care. I'm not going to pick up your tags today. And in about six hours, your tweet will be dead. There's actually, so I'm not saying TikTok's better. It's just, it's a different experience because like people are doing stuff. And a lot of, I see a lot of videos of people will ask a question. They will ask if you watch this far, put a green heart or something, it seems stupid, um, or tell me something and people will respond. I don't know what it is about it, but it's, it's interesting. There's also bad things about it. Um, uh, assume you don't constantly, as long as you're having fun and you want to have, it's good. Yeah. I have a balance of, um, TikTok has a way better exposure rate. The algorithm rewards fresh content. Um, yes. TikTok's algorithm is a lot better. It is a little bit untamed. Cause I don't, I don't want to go into the details because it 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 um it's gross. But basically, it showed me a certain amount of videos because I liked the base the this category of content. And then I was scrolling through really fast to try and find something specific. And the algorithm's like, okay, you're searching for something. Let me show you. A subsection of this category that one of the categories you like and I didn't notice it changing and it switched about three looking back it switched about three different categories subcategories of that category and it went down a dark path 
to a video I do not like. It's not like a illegal video or something. It's just not content I want to see and made me upset. Um, but I didn't notice the changes until I looked back and like, oh yeah, that was a clear line. But because I did not uh put not interested on it, it decided to dig deeper into the subcategories. You have to tell it specifically, I'm not interested in that. Stop showing me anything like that. And it will actually listen. It will actually listen to it to a degree. It was definitely, I was doing it at like 1 a.m. So it was running out of content to show me. Running out of fresh content to show me. So it was trying really hard to find something new. And it ended up with a very, a very not good video. Um, and that's the problem with algorithms in general is that they are machine run. To a machine, this was a perfectly logical sequence of events. But to a human, that's actually like almost traumatizing. Um, the machine doesn't know any better. So if you only, and TikTok, it, I think it is moderated, but there's just so much on it that it's, it's, it's a little bit like a wild west of weird stuff you'll get. Uh, maybe it'll change in the future, but it's, it's interesting. It's, it's not new social media, but it's, it's different. It's different than the, the basic one. And I can understand why a lot of people are into it right now. At first, I was like, this is just a dumb Zoomer ADD, ADD thing. I'm like, no, I, there, there are good things about it. And it's more enticing in terms of, like, talking to people, actually interacting with other humans. Because uh, when you start a new account, it shows your content more. So you get more views, definitely. And I thought they were probably just bot views, but... No, those views are actual people. You can look at all the people who liked your video and look at their accounts and they're real people with random things. And it's always funny when I, I look at people who like liked it or followed and then they're like a normal person with like videos of their face. I'm like, oh yeah, there are other real people out here that like VTubers that like show their face. It's not just VTubers liking other VTubers. There are real humans that are have normal lives. I'm like, right. Not everyone's an anime character. I forgot. <laughs> I mean, because I surround myself with streamers who don't show their real face. So I just, I kind of forgot. <laughs> I kind of forgot <laughs> that uh, uh, there's people that are, they're normal people. And it's also the symptom of a lot of VTubers audiences are other VTubers and not normal audience members. So there's, there's normal people on TikTok. Normies. Uh, I want I want a jumping off point. I feel that, yeah. I want a jumping off point. Instead of just being like, I'm tired, bye. But like... Uh, <laughs> I'm tired. And we, we got, we made it to two hours. We made it to two hours on like three hours of sleep. That's pretty good. I guess I could look <sighs> for people to raid. I don't know who's streaming at four o'clock on a Saturday. Congrats. Thank you. I, I made it. I did the thing. It was really scuffed, but I'm tired. Boy. It was, I mean, my mo other model. <laughs> Thank you. My model, my first model reveal, um, the pixel art was also very scuffed. Um, do you know any, does any of you know someone else that's streaming? Because all I have are big streamers, besides Hauntbania, but I, I don't know how I feel about them. Everyone else who is live are like Rainer Vase Jr. <laughs> and Let's Game It Out. I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm not gonna, uh, not gonna raid huge channels. That's, uh, that's not gonna work. I still follow Ashtarothy, who played Eve Online, who basically helped me get affiliate. Um, uh, who basically helped me get affiliate. And, uh, but, well, at the same time, I don't, I don't know them. Oh, hey, I, I know of this person, actually. Do, have I seen this person before? Literally, all my favorite streamers, uh, got together and went on vacation together. There's no one else for me to watch. He plays strat games, chill guy. I, I feel like I've seen him before. I mean, I guess it's how you make friends sometimes. You just raid into them and be like, hey. Let me turn down my music so I can, um, focus. I also like Fire Emblem. 
I'm probably not going to stick around to chat, but I, I will raid over there. Let's set it to go! Cool. Alright, so thank you all for coming. Sorry it was so weird, but I'm glad that I got to do it. So. See ya!